Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to talk about four ways that you can earn passive income with crypto. Many crypto investors don't know that they can make money on top of their existing assets. They just buy crypto assets and wait for years to have increased the value of their asset, but at the same time, they can let their money work for them. In the past, it wasn't possible, but in recent years, DeFi has changed the game, and you can easily make passive income with your crypto and make more profit this is also a good strategy during a crypto bear market which help you to make profit on your existing crypto assets before we start exploring the ways we can earn passive income with crypto please give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos all right let's begin with the first one which is crypto lending there are some platforms that you can lend your crypto assets to those who want to borrow crypto and buy by doing this you can earn interest on the amount you lend the lending return can be anywhere from five percent up to 17 percent on major lending platforms in the time of making this video the apy annual percentage yield depends on the asset and the protocol and type of the contract you choose the assets you can lend and their annual percentage yield are highly diverse assets such as bitcoin and ethereum have the lowest apy why? Because they are more stable and other altcoins have higher yields because they are more volatile. The most popular crypto lending platforms are Celsius Network and Nexo among some others. One problem with lending is that you cannot touch your asset until the lockup period ends. For example, if the market suddenly crashes and you decide to sell your asset to prevent more losses, you cannot because your asset is locked. Or for example, if the asset network faced a problem and it's losing its value and you want to sell you can't you can't even switch it to another asset during the lockup period so you may find an asset with an attractive return but in the lockup period the price of the asset may decline sharply so not only wipe all the returns but also a greater loss in the value of your asset due to its lower price crypto lending is also a perfect option for those investors who don't like crypto volatility but are attracted to higher annual percentage yields in compared to the interest rates offered by banks. So for example, they can exchange their dollars to USD stable coins and enjoy higher rates. The next way of earning passive income with crypto is yield farming. Yield farming is a kind of decentralized version of lending, such as Aave, which is a decentralized lending protocol that lets users to lend or borrow cryptocurrency without going to a centralized intermediary the concept of yield farming also applies to decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap or uniswap where you can provide liquidity to the decentralized exchange and earn yields in yield farming you anonymously and with your non-custodial wallet provide liquidity to a decentralized exchange these two factors being anonymous and investing through non-custodial wallet which are actually the base of DeFi, decentralized finance are the reason of popularity and attracting many crypto investors for example if you want to provide liquidity or lend your crypto on Binance which is a centralized exchange you must go through multi-tier registration and KYC and you must give the control of your asset to Binance meaning you deposit your crypto from your wallet to Binance wallets so you will not have full control over your assets you can request to withdraw but you can't process it you can lend but only limited selection of assets based on their policy and many other restrictions when it comes to centralized exchanges but please pay attention that this doesn't mean that because decentralized exchanges give you full control over your assets and manage and interact through smart contracts so there is no risk this is not true DeFi also comes with potential risk of exploits bugs scams and rock pulls that happen every day it's true that you have full control control and ownership of your crypto asset in DeFi but also the risk is on you and also pay attention that in yield farming besides the mentioned risk you must also manage the higher risk of volatility which increases the risk of losing money via impermanent loss and also you need to wisely decide between farming on more stable chains like Ethereum but with lower yields or the more volatile ones with higher yields like AVAX, 
Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and others. All right, the next way of earning passive income on your crypto asset is margin lending. As I mentioned earlier, on centralized exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, FTX, and many others, you can lend your crypto assets. Your lended assets are used in margin trading for traders who want to borrow and leverage their possessions. The exchange gives you a percentage return on your lended crypto, which are collected from the borrowers. So on these exchanges, you can lend your crypto asset in return for stable annual percentage yields. Each exchange has its own conditions and terms. Some of them may enforce lockup periods and some may not. Some may charge you withdrawal fees and some may offer insurance protocols to protect you from liquidity issues. So before investing your cryptos on exchanges, carefully read all the terms and conditions to see which one suits your needs. And the last way of earning passive income on your crypto assets I want to explain is staking. Similar to other methods in staking, also you lock your crypto assets for returns. But here, instead of lending them for loans, staking is used for validating transactions on a blockchain network, which is also known as proof of stake consensus method. Actually, proof of stake blockchains rely on users who stake their assets similar to decentralized exchanges that reward investors who provide liquidity. Here also the network rewards investors who lock their assets. The more you stake, the more priority you're given for validating transactions and the more you earn. And the amount you earn depends on the network. To keep the network stable, they must ensure that the amount staked cannot leave the network frequently so they enforce a lockup period. Higher rewards are for those that lock their assets for a longer period of time. For decentralized staking, you must also set up validator that interacts directly with the network so it can be a little complicated for average users so they prefer staking on a centralized exchange. For example, on Binance, you can stake your crypto assets to support the operations of a blockchain network. All right, in this video, I discussed four ways that you can earn passive income on your cryptocurrency assets. In separate videos, I'll show you in more details how you can work with different platforms and how you can do these methods in practice. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your investments.